Scientology disconnecting family since 1953. Did you ever read the SP declare L. Ron Hubbard wrote where he authorized a murder against people who left Scientology? That was pretty sick. If you get in close proximity to them, make sure you R45 them. Look up R45. Oh, and just so you know, psychiatry did not start World War II. You notice it's the same old faces every day. Something a little wrong with this picture here. You guys are giving away Kool-Aid, you're playing music, and the public's not piling on your lawn. What's that all about? Oh, the internet. Yeah, you guys don't control the internet. More sad songs tonight. Sad songs of cockroach bites. Free Shelly Miscavige! When's the last time you've seen Shelly Miscavige? When's the last time you saw Heber Gents? Where have these people disappeared to? How come David Miscavige's mother-in-law had four bullet holes in her? How come your Fuhrer's mother-in-law had four bullet holes in her? Oh, she committed suicide by shooting herself three times in the chest and once in the head. <laughs> Wow, you can go fast. She's a Scientologist. Was a Scientologist. Um, she's one of a lot of their victims. These are some of the other people that have died in their organization. They really are about money. They sell spiritual freedom, and they get as much money as they can out of people. In her case, she, they took her out of a hospital. She had a car accident, and she hit her head, and they took her out. She wanted to leave. She didn't want to be in Scientology anymore. And they locked her in a room, and over 17 days, she dropped down to 95 pounds. She had holes in her face in her elbows, her back, she had bruises, and she had cockroach bites on her hands and feet. And these guys got about $200,000 out of her before she died. And, and, um, Why they, did they want her to be in the hospital? Huh? Why did they want her to be in the hospital? They didn't want her to be in the hospital. Why? Because she was a member of Scientology. They don't want her in the hospital? Well, they say that they do, but they, but they, claim that they have this thing called auditing, you hold on to these metal cans and you clear your conscience and that's supposed to make you physically better. And they also have other rituals as well. So um, yeah, like these people, he, this guy right here, he's a German Scientologist. He died, they took him off his epilepsy medicine and he died of an epileptic seizure. They also have a labor camp for members who uh, have doubts about their religion and about their leader. And these three, uh, this one, this one, and this one, they died of asphyxiation. Uh, they were in the basement of the Fort Harrison Hotel in Florida because they're not allowed to sleep with the other Scientologists uh -huh. because they have doubts. They're considered degraded beings. They're not, they're not good enough to sleep with Scientologists who don't have doubts. Uh -huh. So they put them in the basement and they got carbon monoxide poisoning and they died. So yeah, they treat, you know, if you have doubts, they disconnect families. Mm -hmm. If you're in Scientology and your children are in Scientology and they leave, you can never speak to them again. Oh, really? So they do that kind of thing as well. So, oh, okay. Thanks so for the info. no problem. Like, yeah, make sure you look online, you know, okay, cool. just Google yeah. it. All right, thank you. Think. All right. Wow.
I would say it cleared out, but there really wasn't that many people here to begin with. Man, they didn't even give away half a half a thing of uh, Kool-Aid tonight. I guess the public just wasn't buying it. Yeah, it is too bad about your offices being raided in Italy and they found that you guys were spying on the government there. Kind of harkens back to Operation Snow White. Oh, but Scientology changed its ways. Wait a second. If Scientology is so perfect, how do they get in trouble in the first place? Why would they ever need to change their ways? Have you all heard the audio yet of L. Ron Hubbard calling Asians chinks? Saying that they smell of all the baths they never took? God, that L. Ron Hubbard was a bigot. You ever hear him making fun of black people? That was really bad. And the great thing is, it's online. You can hear it for yourselves. You just have to use your brains and your fingers and apply the internet. You know, a member of Anonymous died this week. Yep, her name was Ida. She's been disconnected from her son for 30 years. And he wasn't at her side when she died because your stinking cult kept him away from her. You have any questions about disconnection? Watch the interview of, of your spokesperson, your Joseph Goebbels, Tommy Davis, where he brags it's the right of Scientology to disconnect families. That's online too. Or, no, it's all made up. You can't watch it, you'll harm your case. Your cult has a case, it's called a basket case. Once again, excellent job on getting no new public in. Yes, a couple people did come by and look at your pictures, but they looked at mine too. And I think they made the educated, smart choice. They just kept on moving. Yeah, so it was a total success, man. We had some people come by and look at some paintings. And we gave these uh, nice Spanish ladies uh, some DVDs, a bunch of water, and uh, you know a couple pamphlets. I'm sure they'll be back. Yeah, man. I could just feel the spirit of L. Ron Hubbard running through me tonight as I was playing. I, I, know, I know that my, my waves were touching the public and they were just going to come in in droves. They might not come in tonight, but, but you know, subconsciously it'll work on them. Yeah, it really sucks, man. The guy just out here is busting our chops all the time with free speech. We just can't stand free speech. I mean, it's like, God, whoever came up with that really sucked. I mean, Scientology just can't thrive in that environment. Scientology kills! And if they think I'm going away until they break that stage on these tables down, they're nuts. They're trying to psych me out, man. No pun intended. I know how much they hate psychs. The minute I'm gone, they're going to come running back out and go, The Golden Dawn is here! L. Ron Hubbard was wrong when he said smoking cures cancer. He was wrong in most things. He was wrong to get out of bed.
Dude, has he got a notepad in his hand? I think he's got a notepad in his hand. You gotta be effing joking me. I gotta write it down, man. I gotta totally write it all down. You will not get pneumonia if you Google Xenu. Despite what L. Ron Hubbard said, you will not get pneumonia and die. That was just a trick, so you guys didn't find out about Xenu, the Galactic Overlord, until you were thoroughly brainwashed. <laughs> Where's all the public? Where has all your public gone? When is Scientology going to show us its golden dawn? Either Marty Rathburn and Mike Rinder are lying that David Miscavige didn't beat up people, and they did, and David Miscavige put up with it for years, which means he's unethical because he let them go around beating people, or David Miscavige did beat people up. And either way, I would say David Miscavige is a suppressive person. Anderson Cooper is a bad man, according to your video. Why? Because he wears designer t-shirts and tight-fitting jeans. He thinks he's Mr. GQ. I and mean, that's how you guys attack your critics? You attack your critics by pointing out what type of t-shirts they wear. Uh. It would be funny, but your cult is a sick joke. That is one of the many victims of Scientology. Their victims wind up, uh, in some cases, dead, financially destitute, disconnected from their family members. Um, that, was, that was Lisa McPherson. Here's some of the other Scientologists. The guy had the skin boiled off his body and uh, members who've died of asphyxiation in one of their little labor camps, Let's that kind of thing. How you, how you film yeah. whenever you're talking to people. Yeah. Because these are cult members right behind you. And, uh, you know, you have to film. No, I have to film because the cops ask me to. No. All right, campers. It's 9, 12 p.m. The cult has packed it up. Free speech and protesting, I think, uh, prevailed once again. And, uh... Radio P is signing off.